I just got my first YouTube check. If I knew buying LED lights would make me this happy, nearly 10 weeks, I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna spare you of my low vibrations. For a sky. Can't be going on the internet not looking great. Wouldn't know much about that myself. I need to wash my hands. Good vibes, yeah, we bought them. Hello, happy Monday. Welcome back to a new vlog. I actually haven't vlogged all day because I've been rushing around the place like a typical me. Um, I just filmed a get ready with me because today is the day. I'm meeting my friends for the first time in nine weeks. It's very exciting. They should be here right now. Like I told them come at half two. It's 25 to three and I still have to get a cheese board ready. So I'm gonna bring you downstairs with me, but I am ready. I have my outfit on. My room is an actual mess. But yeah, I'll link the get ready with me video down below. As I actually feel like a whole new person with all this makeup on. Like, I feel like an entire new gal. Like, who is she? Also, I filmed for the first time with my new setup and I was weak for myself. I'm so happy the girls are late. I don't even have anything to prop you up on right now, but do you know what? I'm making my snack board, so I don't have time. I need to wash my hands. The last thing we want is a snack board to taste like feckin conditioner now, isn't it? Oh, I'm so excited to see my friends. Also, I love this top. I showed you last week, but you know. Uh, happy Monday, by the way. I'm sorry, I'm such, I'm like in a big rush because if you know me, you know I overestimate the amount of time I have. So I'm making um, a grazing board right now. I baked cookies, like it's all happening. It's all happening. We have some salami. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm so excited. So basically the plan is, I'm meeting my friends for the first time in like nine weeks. And as I said in my Get Ready With Me video that I literally just filmed, like I'm nervous. Do you know when you're a teenager and you're going to like a teenage disco and you have those like nervous, excited butterflies in your stomach? Like it's anxiety, but anyway. Um, I kind of have that, like I don't have anxiety, but I have like, Oh my god, I can't believe I'm seeing people that like I don't live with. Cause like I actually like unless I've met someone like by accident, I haven't like planned to meet anyone during lockdown or like like I've been a really good gal. Oops. Are you supposed to leave camembert wrapped or what's the crap? Does it say how to serve? Absolutely not. I'm trying to be the hostess with the mostest. Like, I really am. Like, I'm trying my best, you know. Realistically, I should have done, well see, I was gonna say I should have done all this this morning, but I got bacon cookies and stuff, and also, you don't want... Oh my God, I thought it was raining for a second. So we have dark chocolate, ham, strawberries, orange, cheese, crackers, Ballymaloo relish, chive, Philadelphia. And Kate made sangria and brought very cute glass jugs and as I always say, not always, it's a new phrase of mine, the vibes are immaculate, absolutely immaculate. Kate you can come back up now. Kate was hiding from the camera even though like she's full face makeup on looking stunning. Like I get my friends hiding from the camera when you know they're not looking, they're, they're top like you know can't be going on the internet not looking great. Wouldn't know much about that myself. Um, but like, she's dressed to the nines. Baby pink top, hair curled, Cheryl Tilbury foundation on, and she's hiding behind the wall. So I'll talk to you later. Okay, so this is the vibe of the outdoor party. Freshly baked cookies, good cheese, pasta, pasta salad, grazing boards, aloha. The vibes are immaculate, lads. Now, the weather could be better, but, it's going to get better, look. See, there's blue sky now over there. So that's gonna move this way instead of the gray cloud. Okay, it's lovely and cozy, isn't it? <laughs> it's a crater. Lads, I had the cutest, most wholesome day. Like, I'm not even messing. It is, I think it's like half 12 at night. And obviously the girls are gone. And we just had like, literally sat outside all day. Oh my God, ow tripped over my boot, that's fab. Um, sorry, let me get in, let me get into bed. But yeah, we literally like 
sat outside all day and just had the chats. We all like were wary, um, but we just had such a nice evening and it was so nice. I don't know why I said evening. We had such a nice day, like all together, like all over. We had such a nice day, but now it is 25 to one. And Kiki has actually changed her schedule for to 11 o'clock. So normally my lives are at 10 a.m. Whereas she actually just changed it to 11. So I don't have to get up too early in the morning. I'm gonna have such a nice sleep now. Lay in bed and just, I'm exhausted. Like obviously when you haven't spent time with like that many people, like, and like such, like that was such a big social occasion when you think about it. But yeah, happy Monday, welcome back to another vlog. So I feel like when I said welcome back earlier, I was like rushing frantically. Um, Cause I was running late, of course. Running late to my own house, like. This is a, a kind of a go for it message. Oh my God, you guys, Lakshmi, goddess of abundance. I choose to feel abundant, wealth is an inside job. Okay, we have got luck, we've got abundance, we have authenticity, we have creativity and expression, we have love. I mean, you're, you're moving into a chapter of your life that truly is for you. Woo! That truly is and can and will provide all the circumstances that you've been hoping for and better, but more importantly, it's the feeling of safety and security and the feeling of, of just simple joy. That, what you just saw on the screen, was my weekly energy update from Jane International. So Jane International is a YouTuber and she does um, monthly horoscope readings for all the different star signs, but then she does a weekly energy update where she basically does like four decks of cards I think it is and you pick whichever deck you're most drawn to and she does the reading and that one's so weird like so accurate for what I'm feeling also look at my stunning new chain I got this from John Ross this morning and I've been wanting a chunky chain for the longest time and I just think it's perfect like I love it I love how it's not too long like it's just perfect and I just love, I've wanted a chain for the longest. I took off my other necklace just to clean it because obviously this is very fresh. So I felt like I needed my other necklace to be quite fresh. Also, this is gold plated. It is silver, it's not gold. Um, we're not there yet. We're not buying gold jewelry for our neck. Like imagine if this was all real gold, but it's actually stunning. I'll link it um, in the description box. For anyone who wants to check it out, I'm just relaxing. Um, to be honest, I've had a busy-ish day and I'm doing my takeover on Kiki's Instagram at seven o'clock. So I'm just trying to like mentally zen for the next hour, just so I can like be very energetic on that because like it's such a cool opportunity that Kiki's after giving me to do the first takeover on her coaching page that has like 11,000 followers and like for me to just introduce myself and kind of talk about my journey with Kiki's coaching so far and everything it's a very good opportunity and obviously a lot of people might connect with me on it and therefore follow me on Instagram I've been manifesting this you know I've been manifesting like this is going to be my job. The universe has got my back. Like, this is how I'm going to live my life. And this is how, this is what I want to do. I want to put content out there that makes people feel good about themselves. And you know, that's kind of the behind message behind all my videos, whether or not you realize it, is like, my whole thing is like, I'm showing that like, you don't have to care what people think. You can do exactly what you want and you can enjoy it and be an unapologetic about it, if that makes sense. I forgot to film me doing my takeover. Oh, I'm so sad. I was meant to set up my camera and like, have it filming and like, you know, the audio and also so I'd have it. But I totally forgot because I was, it was like quarter to seven. I was like, okay, I need to get ready. I need to get in the zone. What I did before 
the takeovers. I actually went for a nap because I felt like I just needed to like zone out and not think because I feel like with things like that as well, you know, I could have got very in my head and I could have got very like self-deprecating. Oh my God, ringlet. <gasps> like my hair is so curly, you have no idea. Um, But it, fun fact, if you kind of naturally have curly hair, look at that springy ringlet. But yeah, fun fact, if you kind of naturally have curly hair, um, if you lo use loads of heat in it and bleach it and stuff, obviously it gets rid of the curl. Anyway, you know, I could have been working myself up. Like, I'm not that type of person anyway, but you know. I was like, no, I kind of feel emotionally, not emotionally drained, but like energetically drained, I guess. And um, I was like, no, I need to like have a bit of me time before it. So I took a nap, like cleansed my self. <laughs> what? I took a nap and I was like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. And then I sat down and I went on to the Kiki Fit coaching page because like there's like 11,000 followers say on that page but I was like oh my god what if there's like no questions or like what if I don't know do you know the way sometimes you can be thinking those things but honestly I had so much fun it was so nice and like Kiki herself was telling me that there's like 95% girls I think like who follow that page so like it's very like everyone's kind of there for the same reason it's so weird as well because last week I woke up, I think it was Thursday or Friday morning and I woke up and the first thing I did when I woke up, didn't even open my eyes and I was like, uh, today's going to be amazing, the universe has everything for me that I need and that I deserve and everything I want is happening and I said that and that was the day then that, and that was the day then that Kiki messaged me. And I'm like, am I a witch? Am I Keelan Moncrief? You know? And I'm like, oh my God, like I am, um, I have power, you know? My energetic power is obviously very strong. So we need to tune into that more. Happy Wednesday. literally Wednesday night, it's nine o'clock, I haven't vlogged all day. Oh, oh my God, look. That is insane. Tell me that's not absolutely insane. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at the sky. I fully can't cope. So, yeah, I haven't really vlogged all day. I was editing and then I was like, do you know what, Rebecca? You need to take some time for yourself. But I feel like I just had to show you that sky because the vibes are immaculate. Now I'm gonna close the window and resume the programming that is sitting in my bed and watching YouTube videos. Because that's what I'm in the mood for this evening and today. So I'm gonna spare you of my low vibrations and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Hello. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. Oh. Hey, good morning. It is Thursday. Can't believe it's already Thursday. <laughs> I feel like the week goes like this, like slow, 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 boom. Like slow, 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 boom. You know, that's exactly how I think the weeks go. I'm just having my morning monster as per usual before my Kiki workout. There's a new moon in Gemini tomorrow. What does that mean, you ask? Right, this is gonna be irrelevant now because it's gonna be gone by Sunday, but anyway. So every, there's either a new moon and then after that there's a full moon. I think it's two weeks after. So it says, during this new moon, there's gonna be a lot going on cosmically that has been really shaking things up. Lots of memories, people and wounds of the past are resurfacing and making us feel out of sorts. That is how I've been feeling. This is really a time to feel through those things that are coming for you to help clear yourself from the baggage you have held on to. For healing, you really need to accept and love all sides of you, even the messy, untamed ones mood as they have made and continue to make you who you are I do believe in that 
this new moon is all about communication this is the time to express yourself and speak out your truth get deep with those around you and let them know what you've really been thinking and feeling questions to ask yourself do i express myself freely or hold back am i feeling heard how can i speak up more interesting so there's a new moon on friday which would make sense because i was feeling a bit off yesterday i don't know why and I didn't really vlog because I don't like vlogging when I feel shit because <laughs> the main thing so I've been really thinking about this recently which would make sense so I've been thinking about like what's my not what's my brand but just like what's my message online like what what do I bring to the table of the online community you know like because I want all my videos to relate back to the same kind of message if that makes sense and I think my main message or at least what I think my main message is is showing people how to do them not give a fuck about doing them and just like being comfortable enough to be themselves and love themselves and treat themselves well I think especially with YouTube I'm just like do I try new things? Like I have ideas and then I'm like, do they make sense? And then it's like, I'm really struggling with the whole baking videos. Like I think they've had their time. I've enjoyed them. I've really enjoyed them. And I might do one like here and there, but I feel like they've had their moment on my channel. I feel like the baking videos have had their moment, you know? And I don't want to do something, I don't want to overdo something. I want to do it until I want to stop. But yeah, I don't know, I was just thinking about the baking videos this week. And I'm like, they're good, like people enjoy them, but I don't know. I think I could switch it up a little. It's just not connecting, I feel like. It's so like, thinking of content at the moment when it's like quarantine content is fun and relatable and like everyone can relate to it because we're all in the same second boat but then it's like you know there's only so much quarantine content you could do without going overboard sorry I'm talking to you and I have a workout in oh six minutes okay that's fine and I think the whole element of my videos anyway isn't like what I'm doing. It's like the way it relates back to me and my personality. So I hope that shines through. <laughs> I'm telling you lads, working out just does something for me. It just makes me feel fantastic. What do you think, Lexi? <sighs> Lex? I have no idea, like, I felt, this morning I felt fine. Didn't feel like amazing, didn't feel horrendous, but I, I felt fine, you know? Yesterday, morning was fine, and then, I just went downhill and I was texting my friend, uh, my friend, I was texting June. I was like, no, I think now, nine weeks in, nearly 10 weeks, I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> and she was like, oh, that happened to me weeks ago. Like, because of the introvert in me, it's taken me longer to actually care. Not care, because like, obviously I care about the global pandemic, but I mean care about the fact that like, you're pretty much on house arrest like it's like a, a house arrest basically without like the crime and stuff but i'm like i don't know it just got to me i think yesterday which is normal and i wanna because part of me is like i don't want to vlog like low energy and bad vibes which i didn't but now that i'm like out of it i feel like i can talk about it without me being like depressive if that makes sense so basically like it's normal uh you know we've never gone through a global pandemic like something like this hasn't happened since like world war ii 
you know, like where the whole world is affected. And I feel like it's just, especially because we were the generation of like travel, booking the next holiday, going here, going there, moving to a new city, moving to a new place, like moving around the place. And even when you're not moving around the place, you're like going for lunch with your friends, going for dinner with your friends, socializing. And I will be the first to say I'm not the biggest party animal when it comes to like nights out and stuff. But I still love like a good Saturday morning brunch. I still love walking to the gym and having that social aspect in my life. You know, going into the gym, seeing the guys there. I just would love to walk into the arena and be like, hey guys, and have the chats. But anyway, um, but yeah, and it's just like, yes, I know now we can be social. Like I met the girls Monday, but like at the same time, you don't want to be doing it every day and you don't want to be doing it excessively and quote unquote like and stupidly either if that makes sense but anyway i just did a back to back workout so i did kiki's live and then i did kiki's workout that she has in the plan for me because the workout she has in the plan is more muscle focused like more strength focused which i love and it was an upper body vibe and i just feel so good after it like i feel like something has been released from my body like the bad vibes just went you know, out of me, gone. Ready for this new moon, ready to set my intentions. You know, I'm ready. Also like muscles. <gasps> Do you see that muscle? Oh my God. I just can't wait to be jacked. <laughs> I decided I know what I'm gonna do about the baking videos. I'm not doing a baking video this week because my thing arrived. Oh, I can tell you now because the video is gonna be live. So basically I did a whole room transformation. Like it's not, the biggest transformation in the world but it still looks a lot cooler than it did before in my opinion and it's more like a, a creative space now I feel but I was waiting on something to come to kind of finish it off because I have everything filmed for a room transformation video and that arrives this morning so what I'm going to do now on Saturday instead of a baking video is do a room transformation video so I'm so excited and I'm gonna go do that now but I have to charge my camera because my battery's low and I'm starving I need to eat oh my god my lights for my room came oh, look at the vibe so obviously it's still bright outside now so the lights aren't having their full effect in this part of the room because it's bright but you can see like oh my god look so my room transformation video should be live on my youtube channel now where i go through like where i got these and the links and like showing you the whole room but it's live now anyway so i said i would show you but right so it comes with a remote sorry now it comes with a remote so there's 20 colors right and i was kind of unimpressed earlier because i'll show you now hold on so I was kind of unimpressed earlier because when you press the pink button, this is the color that comes up and clearly that is purple as we can all see. So when you do this, where it fades, right? And then you pause it on the color to get like the exact shade of pink that you want. And it's just so much more pink <gasps> and I'm obsessed. So now basically I want my whole room to be LED pink lights and I want to get blackout curtains so that we have the LEDs. Like imagine me filming here like a cute little skincare video or something. Like the vibes. The vibes. Or we could have like, do you know what I was thinking? Because I'm really th thinking about my content for my YouTube channel because YouTube is my baby. But I want to do like chatty, self-confidence girl talk videos sitting here with the pink LEDs. Like, wouldn't that be really cute? Thumbs up if you want girl talk vids because I have a lot of talk for my gals, you know? So yeah, I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. So there's a full YouTube, or there's a full room video on my YouTube channel now. I'm sorry. I said the vibes were immaculate before, but now, I'm just out of the shower. I drowned my entire body in the Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream, the Brazilian bum bum cream. I put on a face mask. This is actually my second one. I did the ordinary peeling mask, this one here. And then I did the trilogy one, which I actually haven't used in a while because my mom had it in her room for ages. I gave it to her one night because her skin was really dry and then I just didn't get it back. Um, but this is it, it's the hydrating jelly mask and it has Manuka honey, rosehip oil and hyaluronic acid. So we're using that, we're plumping up our skin. 
Oh my god. Oh. Wow. But I'm weak for my room, lads. I'm actually now weak. These lights just made the world of difference. Like, it's just so nice in here and zen. And I do have to tidy up my room a bit now. It is a bit of a mess. But it's just so much more zen and so much more calming. And like, I have my incense burning. <gasps> oh, lads, I'm telling you now. Little things to make your room a sanctuary. Like, it wasn't expensive to do the room change that I did. I'll link the full video in the description with all and in that video has the links to the lights and the links to the wall stuff I got and everything like that but genuinely it wasn't expensive but it just it makes you feel so much better when you like invest time into your space can you hear the rain that is pelting oh my god the vibes lads sorry now I feel like my lights are very like look at this look at this look at this Boring. Oh, <laughs> they're changing color. Oops. Vibey. Like the vibes. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The vibes are absolutely immaculate. For now and forever. Sorry, I want to get to the pink color that I like. But honestly, like the vibes in my bedroom <laughs> and the rain. It hasn't rained in Ireland properly in ages, so I'm actually, I don't even care. I don't even care. Like, welcome to the rain, you know? Welcome. Oh my God. But I don't know, like, if I knew buying LED lights would make me this happy and content in my bedroom, I would have bought them way sooner. I've got about 50 messages about them since putting them on Instagram, but I don't want to message everyone back yet because I want, people to go click my new YouTube video that I'll put up tomorrow and then they'll find out where the lights are. So at least then people will watch it to find out that if you get me. And that's not me being like, I don't wanna tell people where I got things, but I will. But like, I want people to go watch the video first because the whole idea is like the room transformation. Do you know what I have to do now though? I just realized I never cleaned my room and took like the after shot of my bedroom. And I want an after shot in the night time because the lights look so well and I want the video to go up tomorrow so I realised I'll have to clean my room now and do that which is annoying but I'm going to just turn on a podcast and clean it I'm living for my pink room I also really like this blue colour hold on like I kind of look like I'm in a fridge but it's it's cool like am I going to buy blackout curtains and just have blackout every day maybe these are all the fun colors. So there's like a yellowy one, orange, red, very red. I like the red. I think the red's very vibey. Green, blue, white, this color, this color, this color, that. They're literally the same thing, but okay. This color, this color, this color, that one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, so you've seen them all now. Uh, well, you haven't seen them all because then when you press this button, this is like the faded, oh yeah, faded seven. So it has like seven different shades of colors. So you can like stop it at any shade you like as well. You can just pause it. Like if I like this, it's kind of like a light pink. That's actually really cute, isn't it? Um, or like if I want to go red, yellow, green. But the one I like is when I go faded three, just in case you buy these. Faded three and then I like to pause it when it's like that pink. Anyway, I'm obsessed, if you can already tell. Like, who knew LED lights would change my life so much, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go now and, sorry, I never told you lads, I only, <gasps> I never told you, I just got my first YouTube check, I know, my first YouTube check, I can't cope, um, so I got an email today from Google AdSense and I've been paid, it hasn't hit my account yet, but 
I've been paid. Bear in mind now, it's not a lot of money. I'm not bawling. Um, but, and like also, I've been doing YouTube consistently since, sorry, what is that on my leg? I've been doing YouTube consistently since September. I have not missed a weekly upload since September 2019. We're over six months. We're nearly a year, basically, of me not missing a week of posting YouTube videos. Think of the amount of hours of work that is. And I'm only getting, not I'm only, because I feel very grateful to even get this far, because a lot of people don't. But I'm getting my first check now, and it's May. So, like, you know, you don't do YouTube for the money. I'm not here for the coin. I'm here because I love making videos. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. If I did not have YouTube during Quar, I would be losing my shit. I don't know what I do every day. I really don't. Like, sometimes during Quar, I try to have days off where I like don't look at filming or editing or anything. And I just get so bored. So I'm so grateful and I'm grateful to you all because you all make this possible. This, this being, I don't know what you make possible. You just watch the videos. Technically I make them possible. But like, yeah, so got my first YouTube check. Not a lot of money, but it's something. It's over a hundred euro. That's all I'm saying. It's over a hundred, less than 200, but it's my first check. It's my first monthly payment and I'm buzzing. Like, talk about an achievement. Oh, it's such a good feeling. I felt so shit yesterday and I feel so good today. Happy Friday to ya. Happy Friday to ya. Happy Friday. I got an urge last night to clean my room before I went to sleep. And I woke up to like, immaculate vibes, as I do say myself, so. Like, sorry. Also, look at the delivery I just got. I literally thought it was like beauty pure. And then I opened the box and it's from Fulfill Protein Bears. So I was part of the Fulfill taste team when they launched their newest bar. And they just sent out a box basically to be like, like grab life by the bars. First of all, I love that. But basically it just says, hi Rebecca, I hope you enjoy a new chocolate deluxe and revamped flavors. So they've reflamped, re revamped all their flavors. I just ate this one because I tried this before and I didn't really like it. But this is stunning. So it's chocolate, caramel and cookie dough. And I just ate one and it was amazing. Then there's, they revamped the peanut and caramel. This is their new one, the chocolate deluxe. Then the white chocolate cookie dough, which is one of my favorites, heated up. And then the milk chocolate and mint. Yeah, shout out to Fulfill for being legends and sending me out protein bars. Fulfill are an Irish owned protein bar company. Thank you, Fulfill, for being legends. They're actually one of my favorite protein bars and they have like all the vitamins in them and stuff. So yeah, here's to getting food in the post because obviously I love beauty pure. I'm a whore for some beauty pure, but there's something that hits different about getting free food. Like there really is. Like Lana, if you want to sponsor me, Monster Energy, I'm open. Speaking of Monster Energy, I just got a monster and I'm about to sit in my cute little area. Sorry, I'm still obsessed with the LED lights. That hasn't gone anywhere, but I'm just about to sit down now at my desk and edit today's YouTube video. So I think I addressed this yesterday. I can't really remember. I think I did. But basically, I've decided to put the baking videos on hold. So I'm doing a room video tonight that'll already be up. Saturday, 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 Saturday. Sorry, I need to turn on now my LED lights. So. There we go. They actually just make me so happy. 
So happy Saturday, how are we? I feel like I didn't really vlog yesterday because to be honest, I was working on my room transformation video basically all day. Not all day, but like it took a lot um, because I had so much footage and then so much of it was like me saying the same thing or like irrelevant. So I had to like, there was a lot of footage there that I had to go, go through and edit. It just took me very long, but I'm actually very proud of myself because it is doing fantastically. Also this morning we hit, well I don't know if it was this morning or last night, but 1.8K. So that is very exciting. And my new video had nearly 900 views in not even 24 hours. And for my channel, that is very good. So we love that for me. So clearly the universe is telling me I made the right decision with the baking videos because obviously it's Saturday, so usually today I would be doing a baking video, but that's not happening. And you know, it might happen in a few weeks. I'm not saying I'm never baking ever again, but I'm never, I'm not doing it just to do it. Like I'd rather do it. Sorry, I'm, I realized if I put this on this, this is higher. Yeah, what I realized is basically, if I really want to bake something or if something comes to my attention, of course I will bake it, but, I'm not a baker and I don't, that's not what I want this channel's vibe to be about because as, like when you subscribe to a YouTube channel, say you might know me, you might be a friend, you might be like an acquaintance, you not, might know me from like living in the same town as me, or you're a complete stranger on the internet and a complete stranger on the internet when they're subscribing to someone, they subscribe for a reason. So they subscribe because, oh, I love her vlog stuff or, oh, I love her vibes or energy or confidence chats or makeup stuff, you know, peep or skincare even. Um, so people subscribe for a reason when they don't know you. So I want people to have a very clear reason of why they're subscribing and what they'll get when they come to my channel, uh, if that makes sense. Also, skincare, speaking of skincare, I got this during the week. I'm pretty sure I showed you. The Dermalogica Retinol Clearing Oil. And honestly, when I wake up, my skin just hits different since using it all week. So I will be using that more and kind of seeing how I go. Also, it's nearly time for me to review the Cher Tilbury Magic Serum. This guy, I was looking for it there. This one, so I've been using it for 30 days morning and night like haven't missed a morning haven't missed a night and i'm only halfway through it so that means it would last two months which is good for a serum in my opinion um but i'm going to do a full review of that that's probably going to be wednesday's video i had my check-in with kiki this morning uh which is very exciting so i again like measurements and stuff were down um, so that was great and I yeah like that was great so hopefully she'll tell me I can have whatever I want for dinner because that's how my last three Saturdays have gone and it's a month today that I have been working with Kiki I will be doing a full video on my experience on it and um, after the two months is finished like before and after photo the whole shooting gallery it's Saturday evening and I'm just tired, I am tired. I am wrecked in my lovely pink space. I'm trying to find the remote now to turn these down a bit because I feel like I'm very pink and that might be a bit distracting. Hold on now. My brother told me, he said, you hardly got the ones with the remote, like you're gonna lose that. I was like, why would I lose the remote? Well, this is supposed to be the white one now and it's not very white at all. Okay, this is a bit better. Maybe if I turn down the brightness a bit. Do you want? It's fine. I spent the whole day editing and it wasn't even for me. <laughs> it was for work, like for someone. Um, they wanted something edited, like footage, but I had to edit about 50 minutes worth of footage down into two minutes so that was fun um i actually wanted to explode after it but it was fine and then i put castor oil in my hair again because i'm trying to do that once a week now for the next few weeks and see does my hair shoot down to my arse or what's the story do you know anyway so 
So yeah, I said I'd do a face mask and we can just chat for a few minutes while I do it because why not? Um, so hold on. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna do a face mask. Which face mask am I going to do is the question. Sorry, my MacBook being open was actually providing us with. So I think I'm gonna do this one. This is actually one of my favorite masks at the moment and like ever. So it is the Dermalogica Sebum Clearing Mask. I'm like, will I do this one? So I have either this one, those two are hydrating. No, I feel like I need one for my pores. So I know some of you probably watch these for escapism and I don't like to reference the whole global pandemic situation uh, very often, but I just kind of want to have an honest chat with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's about 10 weeks that the world has been losing a shit basically and i feel like the 10th week for me this week was really the straw that broke the camel's back for lack of a better word like for lack of a better word for lack of a better phrase um yeah i just feel like this week i felt like i just wanted to leave on a jet plane you know i just wanted to get up and get a flight out of here part of that was probably due to the fact a lot of people that I know and a lot of my friends in both Dubai and Australia aren't like in the same situation as Ireland so like Australia like the restaurants and the pubs and stuff are back open like people are out and about enjoying themselves and Dubai is the same even though I think Dubai there's like an 8 p.m. curfew, but like things are open. You can go to the shop, you can go out for lunch, you can do things. And obviously as well, the weather this week kind of took a bit of a change too. So I feel like all those, and there was a new moon. So I feel like all those things combined, just really, they didn't tip me over the edge. I'm not gonna say like this was a hard week. I feel like generally I was in a good mood this week. Actually, on what day didn't I vlog? So I was just like not feeling it. I think it was Wednesday. But yeah, I feel like just this week, it's not that I was in a bad mood or that I felt very sad or anything, but I just, it literally looks like I'm putting pseudo cream all over my face. Um, But yeah, it's not like I was in a bad mood or anything. Or like I wasn't angry or I wasn't like very, very sad. Like I didn't cry. I actually don't know when the last, actually yeah I do. I was about to say I don't know when the last time is that I cried but then I remembered normal people and that had me going. Um, but I've been having very vivid dreams as well. I think like two or three times this week I had dreams about someone like, a ver ver I had very specific dreams this week. And I kind of woke up and I was like, what the fuck? Like, no need for those dreams. And they were both, like, I'm not gonna tell you what the dreams were about. Cause number one, I feel like you judge me. And number two, like, I don't know if the person watches my videos. They might, they might not. I don't even know who is subscribed to me for the most part because fun fact on YouTube, like when you get a new subscriber, it doesn't, the name doesn't pop up. Like it doesn't sit, like it's not like Instagram where if someone subscribe or if someone follows you can, you can see it. Like YouTube isn't that way. So like anyone could be subscribed to me or like people could be secret watchers, like watching it in, on the toilet, like in secret, you know. Um, but anyway, I had two very vivid, vivid dreams. One was actually last night and one was two days ago, I think. But yeah, like very strange. And I just feel like this week now, I don't know. It's not like, it's just like, wait, this is still happening? Like, wait, am I making sense? Like, I feel like I'm like, oh wait, like how, what? Like what? Like the, that's why I feel like my brain is like, like, what? You know? I did have a good week though. Yeah, and then I had the whole like, 
self, I was going to say self crisis, but the whole like self questioning situation where I was like, will I keep the baking videos? Won't I keep the baking videos? And I was like, really, sorry, I just don't like this yellow light. I'm going to switch it out. See, I adore the pink, like I adore this, but I feel like it's very intense to watch. Like to watch me being pink. Imagine if I just kept it like this, like how distracting would that be? Uh, maybe I'll go to faded seven and we'll see if we can get a shade. Oh yeah, so then I had the whole self crisis about like my YouTube channel, my baking videos and like who I am identity crisis YouTube identity crisis but I'm actually really glad I made the call to just do the so it's gonna be Friday night now that I upload I feel like it doesn't really matter what days I upload but because like no one's really doing anything anyway side note my jaw just clicks all the time now like can you hear this So this side of my jaw just always clicks. Um, so that's great, we love that for me. Apparently it could be like TMJ. It could be like TMJ, it could be from overextending my jaw. Like it just cracks and it's very annoying. Like when I eat, it just cracks. My family are shouting downstairs. Uh huh. 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 I want to leave on a jet plane and go somewhere Don't know when I'll be back again Also I got a really strong urge to bleach my hair this week So that's not happening Anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna close this vlog out here. Thanks for watching If you have been drawn to this video, if this is your first time on this channel, you've been drawn here energetically. You're here for a reason and now you're gonna subscribe because you like my vibe. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't have made it to the end of this video. Real talk. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you're new here, hello, hi, welcome. Probably should have said that at the start of the vlog, but you know, you can be welcomed at any time, I feel. My name is Rebecca Short. I do weekly vlogs every week and random videos on Wednesday and Friday. And they're going to be more related to my vibe from now on. No more baking. At least not for now. Like I, I might, I probably will bake in the future. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.